So I want to start off today's show by thanking all of Dub Nation for supporting everything that we do. Golden State Warriors today has been on a torrid pace. We're about to approach 1 million viewers over the last month. So at this point, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? We're pushing out videos and sometimes multiple videos every single day. And I want to see how quickly we can get to 34,000 subscribers. You see the numbers to my right. We're 738 people away. Can we get there prior to the start of NBA free agency, which tips off on Thursday? Thursday, well, we will be further upping our content and upping our game right here on the channel. If you want to stay in the know with all things dubs, just hit that red subscribe button and let's chop it up right now. Coming off an NBA championship, are the Golden State Warriors going to run it back? That's basically what we're talking about on today's show. Getting to the latest buzz around Kevon Looney, Gary Payton II, Otto Porter Jr., as well as Nemanja Bialica. Because with all of the recent reporting, it looks as though all of those aforementioned players are going to return to the Warriors this upcoming year to try to make it back to back. So we start off with Kevon Looney. This coming from Mark Stein on his sub stack. By the way, no matter where you're watching, how you're watching, we appreciate you for making Golden State Warriors today a part of your day. I'm your host, Chase Sr. Stein on Kevon Looney. There is growing pessimism, league sources say, among teams interested in pursuing Kevon Looney about the ability to pry him away from the newly minted champions in Golden State. Looney is increasingly expected to re-sign with the Warriors on a multi-year deal after playing a a vital role in their fourth title in a span of eight seasons. Now, oftentimes, there's a lot of turnover for championship teams after winning a championship because you can't afford to retain a lot of the players who are set to cash in in NBA free agency. But the Warriors are under a different category. The Warriors are a different experiment. The Warriors are just different altogether. The Warriors have a special group, and they have a special culture. And they have players who, over time, have been willing to make sacrifices when it comes to their own bank accounts with the hope that they can win NBA championships because what does that allow them to do? Become more marketable faces for sponsors out there, whether it comes to a shoe deal or appearing on a commercial and stuff like that. Yes, Steph Curry, Draymond Green, Klay Thompson, they have received big paydays, but some of the other players have sacrificed a little bit of coin to return. And we might see that same example, play it back once again with some of the players that we're talking about on today's show. Kevon Looney being one of them, I think in free agency, He'd be able to cash in and get a deal worth, I don't know, 8 to $12 million because he is a very valuable glue guy on the Warriors roster. Now, moving forward, I might prefer to start James Wiseman because he has that raw ability. You used the number two pick on him a couple of drafts ago, and he has boatloads of potential. But as a rotational big, as a guy who has an extraordinarily high basketball IQ, who always seems to be in the right place at the right time, making the right play, that leads to big victories and championships, that right there defines Kevon Looney. So if you want the Dubs to bring Looney back, who's been awesome for this team ever since coming to the Bay Area from UCLA, I want everybody to get into the comment section and type Loon. Those who know the bird loon, they make some really cool sounds. I am not going to make the loon sound on today's show. But if we get to the subscriber number, maybe I'll actually do it. Gary Payton the second now. We're talking about him. This is coming from Anthony Slater of The Athletic. The Warriors favorites to retain Payton, and he's going to have a lot of teams in on him throughout NBA free agency with Dallas as the most serious competitor. Slater, who does as good of a job as anybody covering the dubs, the Warriors are considered to be the favorites to retain Payton's services. It isn't a secret how much he loves the Warriors' environment the Bay Area, and is fit as a defensive pest, an off-ball slasher, and a curry-fueled environment. Tongue twister there. But the favorite label, as in the situation regarding Looney, is far from a guarantee, still a few days from the start of free agency. You look at what Gary Payton did this past year. By far and away, best year of his career. He was such an impactful player, but he's an impactful player aside from the stat sheet because the numbers will not 
blow you away, right? Seven points per game, three and a half boards. He connected on sub 36% of his three-point shots, block a, a steal and a half per game, and about a block per night as well. But what this guy does, he's another championship player in a championship rotation that gives you really valuable depth, and this is a guy that you can play at the end of games and a lot in a playoff series en route to an NBA championship. And nowadays in the NBA where wings are being sought after in free agency as well as the NBA draft. It is the most important and sought after position in all of basketball right now. You need players to defend those offensive heavy and savvy wings. And wing defenders in turn are at a premium right now. And what Gary Payton was able to do last year reminds me a lot of a left-handed P.J. Tucker. He'll hang out in the corner on offense. He'll hit an occasional three. He'll make the smart play offensively and hit you with that backdoor cut when you fall all asleep, but he can also guard multiple positions and be a high-level defender against guys who are larger than him and also against some of the top wings across the NBA. And it's really important for teams like Golden State to bring in players like this in their player development program and turn them into solid contributing pieces over time. And that's exactly what Gary Payton II was able to do a season ago. He goes from NBA journeyman to a legitimate rota rotational piece for an NBA championship team and I'd love to see Golden State bring him back although I know there are going to be suitors across the NBA that look at his play and the versatility aspect of it and they're going to be willing to pay him more money but for Gary Payton the second you found a home in the Bay Area with the Warriors you won a ring and you were a big piece in route to the championship especially when you came back off that fractured elbow sometimes the grass ain't greener on the other side that's my message to GP2. Chat Sports will be live for NBA free agency multiple days of it for multiple days in a row. You, may, you better subscribe, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Myself and Harrison Graham will be talking about every single signing and trade once they are made official and once they come across the wire. Nobody does it better. Nobody's free agency coverage. More watch than us here at Chat Sports. Make sure you subscribe to our main Chat Sports YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash chatsportstv. More on the Warriors free agents here. And more reporting from Anthony Slater. Warriors intend to pursue reunions with Otto Porter Jr. as well as Nemanja Bialica. And you look at their numbers from last year. Gary Payton II, really big coming in off the bench. The same can be said for Otto Porter Jr., who throughout the NBA Finals was... A starter at moments when Steve Kerr decided to go small. And Otto Porter, he took the veteran minimum last year. That was a sacrifice to his own bank account. It paid big dividends for him, and he might be able to come back and make a little bit more money this year if he wants to return to the winning environment that the Warriors have to offer. Eight points per game, 46% shooter, respectable numbers from beyond the arc. I thought Otto Porter Jr., good as a starter, good as a bench guy. I'll gladly take both of them back for the right price. And as far as Nemanja Bialica goes, a four who can play a little bit of small ball five, stretch the floor a little bit. There will be nights where he gets DNP, but actually throughout the finals, I thought he played serviceable defense. He got beat on that initial first step, but was able to really recover somewhat well. And again, that floor stretching aspect of his game was valuable, especially at 6'10", 234, when he's going up against some other sluggish big men. He can stretch him out to the three-point arc, which clears the paint for some driving lanes. Backdoor cuts, off-ball action, Bialica, a good veteran to bring back for the right price. So bring one back, and who would you pick among these two here? Is it Otto Porter Jr. type OPJ? Is it Gary Payton the second GP2? Let me know right now in the comment section. Let's assume that all these players come back. This is what the Warriors roster would look like. Andrew Wiggins coming back going into the final year of his deal. We'll see what happens with him. But the calling card is Steph Curry as well as Klay Thompson. Draymond Green at that four spot. And let's hope. And can you imagine what this Warriors team will look like with James Wiseman holding it down in the paint? A guy who, unlike Kevon Looney, can let it fly from beyond the arc. Your bench, Jordan Poole, Gary Payton II, Otto Porter Jr., Jonathan Kaminga, Kavon Looney, Moses Moody. That second unit, you have a plethora of options and a bunch of different options, which gives Steve Kerr a lot of lineup versatility. Here's something to keep in mind when you talk about the Warriors running the back, winning a second championship in two years, which would be their seventh finals appearance over nine years, which really enters them in some marvelous categories. The Western Conference will be a lot better. 
I expect the Lakers to improve. The Phoenix Suns are going to run it back. The Denver Nuggets are going to get back Jamal Murray. Damian Lillard is going to be healthy. The Dallas Mavericks with Luka Doncic, always a problem. The Los Angeles Clippers, when healthy, are a star-studded bunch. That's only a couple of teams and a few teams that will add to the level of competition in the Western Conference. Going for championship number five with the current iteration of this crew. Like this video if you think the dubs will repeat as maybe they will run it back with this same roster. Hit that thumbs up icon, like the video. Do not forget to subscribe. Dub Nation, we love you. Continue to show up, show out, and support the channel.